What's up, guys? It's the Sound Alchemist here with Gersh One, or maybe it's Gersh One here with the Sound Alchemist. But anyway, we are back at it, answering your questions in another installment of For the Greater. Yeah. This question uh, comes from 1975 Steelers fan, oh. um, and again, he put question before his question, which is what you should do if you want your question answered next week. We go through those first. Um, so he asks, Did the Emperor ever have a biological child? Um, the question is, not canon anymore. Um, well, it's confusing. There's gonna be a 40 facts video on the Star Child, right? Oh, uh, is it Star Boy? A star Boy? Oh, that's only if we ask The Weeknd, though. <laughs> Hashtag The Weeknd. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's gonna be a 40 facts video explaining the char Star Child, but, but we could also, um, explain the, the Illuminati and their thing, what is it called? Uh, shoot. Well, the Illuminati, they believe that the Emperor did have multiple children throughout his entire life. Because, I mean, if you live that long, you gotta you can get down. Uh, especially, if, especially if you live through the 70s. Hey. <laughs> um, but, what happened was that they're gathering all these children who have, like, supreme power. And they're gonna sacrifice them. They're gonna stab them. Um, to bring back the Emperor. Right? Yeah. More or less. Unless I'm getting confused with something else. I don't think I am. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, next question. This one's by Arcantos. Could Magnus the Red fill the Emperor's shoes as a lighthouse and allow him to resurrect? First of all, the Emperor is not a lighthouse. Um, he is not on a cliff by the ocean guiding ships. At least not that I know of. But anyway. The massive change that would follow might be in Zeech's interest, after all, as there would likely be an, an Imperial Civil War and many changes to Imperial Doctrine if the Emperor was reborn. So would... Okay, so... Would, would Magnus take his place? No, Magnus no. is bad. He's evil. <laughs> yeah. So let's say if somebody else took his place, a powerful Psyker took his place, let's say Drago came out of the warp and took the, the throne, and allowed the Emperor to die and be reborn, what would happen? Well, considering that it took the Emperor a very, very long time to, very, very long time to come out and be like, yo, I'm the Emperor, um, we wouldn't see him for a really long time. And I don't think Drago is strong enough to sit on the Golden Throne. No, but I'm just saying, like, long enough for him to die and come back. Like... Oh, yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it would take him so long to come back, because he's still going to be a child. Right. So I don't think a child would be able to be placed on the golden throne and just have control of it. That's true. That's what I think. Yeah, you got a point. So the likelihood of that happening is uh, slim to none. Mm -hmm. Brandon Altman says, "Which, w uh, yeah, which would win in a in a chapter war, the Blood Angels or the Space Wolves? S space Wolves. I'm gonna have to say Space Wolves. They're, they're, they're yeah, they're brutal." They don't really adhere to the Codex of Stardis that much. So, um... It'd be like, um... What is it? The, uh... The Black Chapter? No, what is it? The, um... Death Guard? The Death Guard would come out... Is it the Death... Death Watch? No. The ones that succumb to the Black Rage. The Death Company. The Death Company would come out and they'd be like, Well, we got Wolfen. <sighs> so, yeah. It's like, oh, we got Bjorn. But they'd be like, oh, we got Librarians and Dreadnoughts. That'd be a cool fight, though, but I think the, yeah. the wolves got it. Yep. And speaking of wolves, Xeno Blue asked, Why do the Space Wolves have no successor chapters? Two reasons. Uh, one of them is because the Thousand Suns attacked the uh, their, their homeworld. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, you got the other two. So, <laughs> one of them is because Magnus and his Thousand Suns attacked Fenris and destroyed a bunch of their uh, gene seed. So they gotta kind of work to get it back to the levels they were before. True. And then they also did try to do a successor chapter. They had the Wolf Brothers or something like that. Um, and they they had so many things wrong with them um, because of the Canix Helix. Helix genome thing. Yeah. It completely fucked them up. It fucked up the chapter, the successor chapter. And then the third reason, shit I'm forgetting right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> the... The Space Wolves don't adhere to the Codex Astarte, so they're usually you break up into a successor chapter because you've reached that limit 
um, that the Codex of Stardew dictates that you break off into a chapter, but the Space Wolves are like, nah, fuck you, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. So, so in other words, Space Wolves don't want to. Uh, next question comes from Lime Triple Ta. How would the Inquisition react to the 21st century Terra? And they would be like, where are all your servitors? Um, that's, a, that's the only thing they'd be concerned about. Yeah, <laughs> where the servitors at? I think the Inquisition would be kind of cool though, because they'll be like, well, there's no war. Um, there's no psychers, um, and the Emperor is somewhere around, so, cool. Uh, this one's by Chris Fox. What do you think would be the consequence of Skaven in the 40k universe? Um, so you have like chaotic rats running around? That would be a really cool um, alternative race, but they wouldn't really get played, and I think a lot of people would just kind of brush it off. Yeah. Yeah, because if you have the, the option between Chaos Space Marine, Chaos Demons, or Skaven, yeah. I kind of wouldn't really go with Skaven. It's the same reason why you don't see very many um, Chaos Beastmen. They're mm -hmm. a playable uh, faction, but they can't hold their own. And I don't think it's because GW can't create a codex for them. I think it's because players don't want to play them. I've noticed that in our videos, like our Imperium videos, our Chaos Space Marine videos get a bunch of uh, views, but then you break it down to like the Chaos, um, uh, what were they called? Like the Chaos Underlings or whatever, uh, those don't get as many views because people don't really want to, people don't have enough interest to look at like uh, the Beastmen and whatnot. That's like saying like, oh, I want to learn about or Orcs. But those Gretchen, nah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Gretchen wouldn't be the main pull to Chaos. Or to Orcs. And the Skaven wouldn't be the main pull to Chaos. Right. If they became a... Like a... Like, the only way that you, Skaven would exist is they have to attach to a bigger uh, faction. Mm -hmm. Next question comes from Daniel Bain. If you could write a book about 40k, what would you call it? And what faction uh, you write about? I write about orcs because I know about orcs, but I would have them become like the protagonist, so you follow the orc through something badass. Um, because most books are written from the human perspective, fighting orcs. Um, but I want to have like the perspective of the orc, starting from a boy all the way to a war boss. It'd be like some Genghis Khan type shit. Um, Minus the love, because they don't have sex. They just spore. Yeah, and what would I call it? You guys are really good at, at coming up with names, so what What would I call an orc book? Comment down below. <laughs> yeah. What, what uh, yeah, if I could make a book about anything, it would probably be about a gray knight who is losing faith in the emperor. The very first. Because mm -hmm. apparently they all are it's crazy for the Emperor, they all believe, they've never been corrupted. Mm -hmm. So I wanna I wanna see if the reason why there's no corrupted uh, Grey Knight is because the Inquisition or maybe the Grey Knight themselves kill him off and like they bury everything about him. That'd be really cool, really interesting. Next question. Uh Opless GR. Eldar and Dark Eldar live on planets and not on craft worlds or the webway. That's not a question, but uh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Multi Arc 1. Do you think Drago could ever find and rescue Aish Isha from Nurgle? Um, how cool would that be? That'd be uh, super cool. Yeah, I want that to happen ASAP. Could he do it? <sighs> Will GW let it happen? I, I feel like it doesn't really uh, fit the narrative in a way. I don't know. I feel like in order for Nurgle to keep on spewing new stuff, they need uh, they need Isha. And just like a rescue mission to a god. It sounds like some Peter Jackson. Some Peter, <laughs> Peter Jackson, Jackson type shit. Not Warhammer 40k. Yeah. It's gotta be Grimdark. Yeah. Or maybe... No, never mind. Yeah. Um, Death Metal says, 
Does any race in 40k have a weapon like a Death Star? The Necrons. They have... I forget the name again. We talked about this in multiple episodes. I'll remember it later. We'll, we'll come back to it. Probably okay. remember it when we stop recording. <laughs> uh, this one's by Zargus Headwaka. If a dreadnought had a power cut, would it kill the space marine inside? If the orc had a power cut? No, the dreadnought. Had a what? Basically, I think what you're trying to say is like the dreadnought lost power, would it kill the dude interred inside? Oh, uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So let's throw an EMP grenade at it. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah. Dead, dead dreadnought. Um, next question. Comes yeah, from... yeah, that makes sense because uh, it's actually, the dreadnought is the life support for the dude. So yeah, there you go. I'm pulling the plug on him. Yeah. Um, next question comes from Atticus X. Eldar, Imperium of Man, and Tau. All unite versus Dark Eldar, Chaos, and Necron. Versus all the orcs. Of these factions, who wins? How would you pick uh, who wins? Uh, and thank you guys. Love the channel. You're welcome. So who do you think would win? Tau, Imperium, Eldar, Dark Eldar, Chaos, and Necrons, or orcs? So basically everybody that's out there. Um, Not Tyranids. Okay, so if you take the Tyranids out, I have to say... Based on the numbers and the sheer amount that they love fighting, the orcs. Yeah, I agree. Because the Imperium and Eldar and Tau would double cross each other. Eldar, Chaos, and Necrons. The Necrons don't give a fuck about the other two. The Necrons hate Chaos because they hate warp. So, the conflict right there. Dark Eldar. They're, they're too much in it for themselves. Yeah, so the orcs are just going to be the ones who are... Chilling, but not really chilling because they're gonna be the for ones dying everywhere. There's gonna be a lot of green skin but at the end. They win, right? Next question. This guy is pyro 42 What would happen if Lehman Russ never got the altered orders from Horus to wipe out the thousand suns? Do you think that Magnus would have been put on the golden throne to basically fix the mistake? And do you think that the thousand suns would have been allowed to continue to serve the Imperium? So yeah, I think that um, Magnus would have been able to um, like continue his, his work. But would he be on the Golden Throne? I'm not sure. Because wasn't that the original plan? And that would kind of like... I feel like that would be a good ending or so, punishment for him. Because it's like, oh, you have all this knowledge, you have all this power, but you're stuck on the Golden Throne where you can't really do anything. Oh, wait, no, there wouldn't be uh, any reason for it to have anybody stuck on the Golden Throne because the reason that the Golden Throne was broken is because Magnus the Red, like... Oh, no, no that, 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 that already that happened. happened. That already yeah. happened, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah you're right. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, would the Thousand Sons have continued to serve the Emperor? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they would be kind of, like, at odds with, uh, no, Grey Knights, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, failed to lull. <laughs> Can Nurgle army plague a Tyranid hive in the same way that the Imperium plague bombs a planet, but at a far larger scale? Uh, yeah, I mean, Tyranids can get infected by Nurgle. Uh, would Nurgle shoot out a bomb, like, on a hive fleet? Mm, maybe. maybe. Yeah, it could happen. Next question. Uh, this one's by... Where's it at? Gamer of Slanesh. Why does Magnus not open another warp gate in Terra like he accidentally did during the Horus Heresy? I mean, he is almighty and blessed with chaotic right. And he certainly did it before. Why not do it again? Because the Emperor is blocking him now and not just uh, the psychic wards. He didn't open... He didn't create a portal. The portal already existed. He just broke the door. Mm -hmm. um, and now the door is being held back held down by the Emperor and I don't think Magnus wants to face the Emperor especially in the war because deep down inside I think all Primarchs are like I failed my father and he literally failed his father by causing this whole big mess yeah so and then he continues to say also I'm very interested in the Sound Alchemist war boss uh, looking forward to show him my big mech war boss 
I think you're talking about Gersh over here. I have an orc war boss. I showed I showed it to you guys. He gave it to me as a gift. I converted it. It looks awesome. I really want to see your Big Mac posted on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, link is in the description below. Uh, this one's by Aaron Herbert. Does Mars have a backup STC? Like when they find one, do they back it up on Mars or something? Uh, I don't, honestly, I don't know. I think it depends. It depends on like where the STC is found and if that F STC is found, then and they, they're close to Mars. Yeah, they'll try to like harness that knowledge but you have the you have a bunch of factions fighting against each other in a way within like they're the the enemy within uh, so they're fighting against each other uh, in support of chaos and then in support of their own agenda yeah so. so even though the Skatari and the cult mechanicus seem united there's like little sex and whatnot so. yeah. uh, last question comes from pony wormwool oh. Who is the most powerful member in the Imperial Guard? Creed. Because he had control of an entire sector. And that sector was Cadia. And Cadia's been doing pretty good because they've been holding off the uh, Eye of Terror and all that stuff. And the 13th Black Crusade. But. <sighs> if you do uh, read the rumors, supposedly Cadia will fall. It's coming up this uh, next year. So. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. Well, too late. You know now. Yeah. Anyway, that's all the time and all the questions we have for you guys today. Um, once again, thank you for all this awesome questions, suggestions, comments, etc. You guys do great. There is more videos in the Patreon page. Please support us on Patreon. And like you said, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys tomorrow. As always, I am the Sound Alchemist here with Gersh One, and we are signing out. <laughs>